from Playtime Social's blog. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today's blog is about the stick, one of the oldest toys in history. Today's blog title is A Stick is Not Only a Stick. When we as adults see a pile of sticks, we only see a pile of sticks. But when children see a pile of sticks, they see magical wands, lightsabers, fishing rod, flying broomstick, maybe even a spoon to stir the mud with. The stick is one of the oldest toys in history, with its roots stretching back thousands of years and have been used as toys and tools in many cultures. Sticks were used as tools, as simple games, and have also been used as dolls. Whether it's used as a tool, a game, or a toy, the stick has been a part of many cultures and is still today. Sticks are also used to make a variety of different toys, including kites and wheelie gigs. Sticks can also be used to make other playthings like drums and maracas and even puppets. They can be used to do practical activities such as stirring the mud or creating a fishing rod and they can also be used in sports activities like hockey. Sticks are versatile toys that can be used to create almost anything and they can be used to teach children different skills from problem solving to hand-eye coordination. Playing with sticks has been an important part of childhood play for centuries. It may seem like a simple and even primitive activity but it has many benefits for children. One of the most important benefits of playing with sticks is that it promotes creativity. Children can use sticks in different ways to create imaginative games and stories. They can pretend to be a character, build a fort, or even construct a bridge over a river. Playing with sticks encourages children to think outside the box and come up with creative solutions to problems. They explore as they search outdoors for just the right one. Sticks are the organized building blocks for creative play and also encourage play-based learning, the freedom to invent and discover. Done. Some of the benefits of playing with sticks. Encourage, pretend play and creativity fosters problem-solving skills, promotes outdoor exploration and appreciation of nature, develops fine and gross motor skills, provide opportunities for social interaction and teamwork, builds confidence and self-esteem, can be used for art and sensory exploration, improves mental focus. It's not easy to find the right stick. The stick has to feel right and look right for the child, not too old or too dry, or it will break when you put pressure on it, not too heavy so you get tired of carrying it. Your child might get upset if you throw his stick away. As adults we may not understand why. It's just a stick, you find another one, but your child knows that the right stick is not so easy to find. That process of finding the right stick may be deep rooted in human history. Children can use sticks for a variety of play activities. Here are some examples. For pretend play, a stick can become anything a child imagines it to be. It can be a magic wand, a tool for fixing things, or a musical instrument for outdoor exploration. Children can use sticks to explore the outdoors. They can use them to poke at things, dig in the dirt, or stir up water in a pond or stream. To build with, children can use sticks to build forts, teepees, or other structures. For creative work, 
Children can use sticks to create art. They can use them to draw in the dirt or sand or to paint with mud or other natural materials. But can children get hurt from playing with sticks? Yes, of course, they can get hurt. Just as they can get hurt from scissors and all the other pointy objects found around homes and classrooms. As educators and parents, we must set some limits and safety rules for stick play together with the children, just as we do for other playthings. Children should always be supervised when playing with sticks. Stick guidelines. Many forest schools follow these guidelines. You can download them as a PDF from Playtime Seychelles blog for free. You find the link in the video description. Sticks are the ultimate loose part because of their versatile physical properties. The fantastic thing with sticks are that you can find them all over the world. They come in different sizes, weights, lengths, shapes and forms. They are natural, sustainable and they are free. The stick was introduced into the National Toy Hall of Fame 2008. The stick is probably not only the oldest toy, it is also probably the best toy ever. You can download the instructions how to make a wind chim of sticks and how to weave a nature loom as PDFs from Playtime Seychelles blog for free. You find the link in the video description.